GSPH. Tasha Hao, this is Aya from China Cars PH. Ang GS8 ay isa sa mga popular Chinese SUVs ngayon sa Philippine market, proving its elegance, safety, and technology. In this episode, I'm with GAC GS8 and this one comes in four-wheel drive. Halos walang difference exterior design nito compared to 4x2 model. Let's find out if this four-wheel drive is better. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na para updated ka sa mga latest Chinese car release. Nagahanap ka ba ng genuine parts para sa GAC mo? Available ito sa Han Auto Parts. Ang details ay naka-flash screen. Meron itong 2.0 engine, delivering 248 horsepower at ang maximum torque nito ay 400 newton meters. Madaling ma-recognize ang GS8 because of how good it looks. Hindi lang yon, it comes with more technology. Ang pinaka-eye-catching dito, of course, is the front of this vehicle. Pero nitong malaking grill. It has a very interesting and striking headlight, which is in vertical design. Inatawag nila itong Eyes of the Conqueror. As you can see, meron nitong LED and DRL. We can see chrome designs in many places, kagaya na lang dito sa roof, sa window, sa side mirror, at sa babang part ng GS8. Meron din itong privacy glass for the passengers. I think this gives an elegant touch. GS8 rides on a 20-inch alloy wheels. With two clicks, you can open the trunk. Try natin maglagay ng isang maleta. As you can see, enough yung space and malaki pa ang space na natira. Sa likod naman ito, tinatawag nila itong Ruby Diamond Kaolite. You can tell na talaga namang mukhang elegante siya sa rear view. Sa baba naman, meron itong dalawang exhaust outlets. And by the way, meron din itong rear fog light at meron din itong four-wheel drive badge. We can fold the second and third row seats. Meron itong 181 to 1,860 liters of cargo space. This makes the GS8 a vehicle for all types of use. Pwede itong executive car, family car, you can also carry cargos. Visit our website, www.chinacars.ph Now, back to the video. I love the color combination ng interior in this four-wheel drive. It's more aesthetic compared to dark interior ng 4x2. Sa center console nito, you have your drive modes, and then a 360 degrees camera, and auto hold button. Very useful ito pag traffic. The bar button, meaning mas maganda ang safety rating nito. Meron itong 7-inch digital instrument cluster. Sa steering wheel naman sa kaliwa ay ang control to view the instrument cluster. Sa kanan naman ay ang audio controls and voice command button. At ang ganda rin ng tunog ng horn nito. We also have paddle shifter for a sporty drive. By the way, it has a soundproof front windshield. And look at this panoramic sandwich. Maganda ang sound system ng GS8. 
meron itong alpine speakers and plus points dahil meron din itong subwoofer. And as you can see, pwede na natin i-control ang pagbaba ng windows here. Just have to put it here. Then you can close it again. Same with the sunroof and the tailgate. Zero button na, basically everything is touch. Meron na tong wireless charger, two cup holders, and sa armrest, meron na tong cooler. And ayan, malamig na yung tubig ko. So, as you can see, here is a second row seat, same design and same color. You have a flat floor and we have center armrest. Na may two cup holders. Plus, mayroon tayong two USB ports here and your own climate control. Pwede natin i-ben ang second row seats para mas comfortable when traveling. We can also move forward with the seats para comfortable ang mga passengers sa likod. Now, let's go to the third row seats. I'm sitting here sa third row seats. Meron akong enough leg room space and meron rin itong air vents, reading lights sa roof, and four cup holders na very useful sa road trips. Pwede rin natin i-fold ang third row seats para mas malaki ang cargo space. JC really gives us a lot of quality features and new technologies. This is a result of a Chinese vehicle that aims to be high-end. This four-wheel drive is for adventure. It has light off-road capabilities, but it's not meant for heavy off-road. For example, wala pa siyang differential lock. So, if you're someone who loves the design of GS8 with more power and light off-roading capabilities, you can definitely get this car. We would like to thank Astara Philippines for giving us the opportunity to drive this car. That's it for this episode. Mga Ka-China Cars, let us know kung anong unit ang gusto niyong i-review namin sa susunod. Comment down below. For the latest update and new Chinese car release, subscribe na sa aming channel. Till our next episode.